Hello, this is Amanda Verrett at Northern Kentucky University in the Office of Instructional Design. And today I will be walking you through uh, downloading PaperVision 3D and putting code into a Flex project and running that project. Uh, today we're going to talk about PaperVision 3D, otherwise known as Great White. We will need to get a program called Tortoise SVN in order to access the PaperVision code or classes and download those. And then once we have those downloaded, we can uh, import them into either Flex or Flash. So first I'm going to go to Google and just type in Tortoise SVN. And it should be the first result that comes back. So once you get on that page, you will see to your left, there's a tray that says download. And on this new page, you will see uh, we have several options to download, but as we are on a Windows machine, we'll go ahead and click on the first one. Just go ahead and save the file to your desktop. And click save. And so once it's finished downloading, uh, an icon like this will appear on your desktop. You want to just go ahead and right click and hit install. And this prompt will come up that will walk you through the installation process. It's just like any other installation process and after it's finished it will ask you to restart your computer. So you'll want to go ahead and do that. So now that you have Tortoise SVN installed, you'll notice that when you right click on your desktop and you get this menu that pops up, you'll have these new options such as SVN Checkout and Tortoise SVN. We'll come back to this and use it later to uh, retrieve some paper vision classes. But for now, uh, we're going to go back on to Google. Type in code.google.com slash p slash papervision 3D. So this comes up. So what you want to do is download the zip file of paper, uh, PaperVision 3D 1.5, uh, which this one right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. You want to save to disk, again, just to the desktop. Okay, now we're going to go retrieve the uh, PaperVision uh, classes from the code repository. What we do first is make a new folder. On the desktop, okay. So then, what we're going to do is take this bit of code right here and copy and paste it into the SVN checkout. And then you also select uh, the source folder that it's going to go into. So I'm on my desktop, I'm going to select my PV3D code folder, say OK. Now it's going to go through and retrieve all of those classes and put them in that folder for me. Okay, so then now um, it's done transferring all the code to that folder. So we'll just click OK and I'm going to minimize this window. Let's take a look inside this folder now. Okay, so we now have these have these folders: um, AS2, AS3, branches, and paper vision. Okay, and so what you want to do is go into the branches folder, Great White, Source, and now you'll see we have this uh, COM, FL, and Org folder. 
Uh, these are the three folders that we'll be using in our Flex project. Let's go ahead and drag these into a new folder. So go ahead and select those three. Right click on them. And with the right click held down, drag over into the PV3D classes folder. And a window should open up. What you want to click is SVN, export all to here. All right, so let's take a look inside that folder. And so now we have those three that I mentioned. All right, so now we'll move on to the next part. And I'm going to pull up Flex 3. All right, to start a new Flex project, you want to right click in the Flex Navigator and choose New Flex Project. You'll get this window that pops up. Project name. Paper Vision Test and click Finish. Alright, so we have a Flex project now. What we'll want to do first is go back to that folder we just made. These are the classes that uh, will be referenced and the code we're going to put into our Flex project. So go ahead and copy. And let's paste them into the source folder. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and find some Paper Vision code and put into our Flex project. Go to HTTP PV3D.org. So you're going to want to take all of this code and copy and paste all of it into your Flex application. What I did was I copy and pasted it into Notepad so that I could clean up the code a little bit before copying and pasting it into my Flex project. So copy, paste, and it's right in there. There you go. All right, so now if we run it, you're going to see that we get some errors. All right, so cancel that. All right, so we have errors with the tweener. What that is coming from is this line of code right here. Import Karina Transitions Tweener. So you can find a fix for this in Google Code, actually. So we're going to head back to the Internet. www.google.com and run a search for Karina Tweener and it's the first one that comes up. Download this last one here that's an ActionScript 3 file. Save to disk. Alright, so let's put this folder on our desktop. We want to extract that folder. Alright, and here it is. So we'll just want to do the same thing like we did with the uh, paper vision classes. Just copy right into the source folder. All right, let's run this project again. And there you go. That's how you uh, put some paper vision code and class files into a Flex project. Thank you very much. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And check out our other tutorials on YouTube.com.